So here we are in Asset Forge, and here's the castle that I built or part of. And as I mentioned, you will be expanding on this and building a, a much more detailed castle because you have time. Now, there are different things that you could build, like different type of structures. I say castle, so you can choose something else. But I want to show you something here. So by default in Asset Forge, it comes uh, with what, you know, so you see the color gray? Well, it's not painted on. It's actually a material. So it means that this is made out of that color. Okay. So if you bring this into another 3D program, you could change this whole gray thing to another color. But let's say you want to add a little bit more style to your model. Okay. So one of the things you could do right in Asset Forge, so as you can, as you remember, uh, in, in here, there are all kinds of uh, different uh, blocks. And I'll just show you. So example here, if I bring this in, I click and just drag it in. It's great. Okay. So that's the color. Now, this program is super basic, so you can't do much with it. There's not a lot of fancy materials in here. You'll call them colors, and that's fine. But in 3D, they're called material. But here's the trick. Let's say you're like, you know what would look good here is another kind of look. And so what happens is I'm going to just save it like that. But I could put more materials. So what I've done is I've transformed that gray part into a new color and I created a new material. So when I bring it into another software, which I'm going to show you in two seconds, uh, you can change that material and make it look really cool. So I'm going to swap it now into uh, Twin Motion, which is a software I hope that we can explore this semester. And but before I do that, I got to maybe save it. And remember, I said this yesterday, when you save in Asset Forge, the project file is called model. That means it only works in this program, but it'll allow you to return to continue working on it. So that's very useful. I've already saved this. So I won't save it again. But now that I want to bring it into, let's say I wanted to bring it into a program like Unreal Engine or like Twinmotion or Maya or some other 3D software. I click export. The default is usually OBJ, which is fine, but I prefer FBX. It seems to work smoother for me. And what that is, is, is a form of 3D model, okay, that allows you to uh, work easily in Unreal Engine, which I really like. And make sure that it's merged, because if you don't merge it when you bring it into your other program, there'll just be a bunch of blocks on the floor. Well, I've already built it, so I don't want to build it again. So click Export, and you're done. So now, again, if we get back to school when the whole pandemic thing is over, we're going to do this other part. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Twin Motion. And as you can see, I brought in my castle in Twin Motion. And you see here are the materials that I've added. And you know what's cool? I don't know if you notice it in Twin Motion, but it has shadows. Because in other words, this is like the real world. And like what time of day is it? Look, I'm going to back it up here. And it's just, and this, by the way, this software is used by real architects to design, so let's say they design a house, like I kind of just designed this castle, of course, there's other things that architects do because it has to be built in the real world, but believe it or not, it's not, the precision is really important, but uh, it, we can use this the same way uh, to see like, you know, what month is it, June, July, you know, it even is programmed to know exactly what it looks like. So you can see the shadow, and, you know, I could change the background to, you know, let's say I want it to look like it's in the city. And basically, this tool is used to sell their their design. So that what they do is they bring in their house and you say, OK, sir, you want to buy a house from us? Well, here you go. Here's a little video. You can make a video with this software. And by the way, there's a massive shortage of people who actually know how to do this right now. You know, and I, what I want to show you here, too. So here's my castle. and what I did is I added these materials. So in ask, and don't worry if you're like, I don't know how to use this. I'll teach you uh, whenever we get there, assuming we'll have time. And so in here, remember what I said the colors are called materials. So in this program, they're already all built in. Now there's, if we use Unreal Engine, some of these materials are in the engine as well. They're a little bit harder to find for beginners, but this is kind of like a much easier tool for beginners like us. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get some nice brick. And you can see what it looks like. So you see when I put my, my hand or my little mouse on it. So here's the red brick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it. Now, do you see what it did? I'm going to just change the time of day here because I don't see the, uh, uh, let me see here. I'm going to just, because I don't see the shadow, so I don't, I want to see the front just so you can see it, right? For now, what we care about is, is that. So I'm going to go like that. So you see, when I just by adding that small thing, and then let's say I want to change the rest of my building like this. So look at my castle now. It's starting to look like incredible. And uh, there's just a lot of other things you can do in this software that, you know, in Asset Forge, you can design little trees like this. And, you know, I can also delete them. So let's pretend I'm like, that tree is not nice. In here, there's actual real trees. So I can just drop this in you know i can drop a bunch of these in and just create a real look nice looking scene whoops well and i'm just going to un undo that last one and moving around in asset forge is kind of like moving around in any 3d software program so i'm just going to go back to the beginning here and i want to turn this off uh, and i'm just going to move with my mouse because, you know, one of the things you want to learn to do when you create a 3D, you got to move around it. And there are, are, whoops, a couple of tricks here. And as you can see, I kind of screwed up. Uh, one trick is you click on it and press the F key. Okay, that's really powerful. Alt allows you to, and I'm just going to check to make sure I have it set up as Unreal Editor. I really prefer that version of how to move around. But so look at that dinky little castle that I created in asset forge and what it looks like now all right so that's kind of it for that let me just